Okay, Sharon, let's start with you. Nick from Toronto has a question for you. Hi, Sharon. I've got a stucco ceiling that crumbles. The last time I painted, I used oil, but that smell lasts way too long. Is there anything else I can use? I also have a question regarding inside handrails. If I use latex, it peels off, but I'm afraid oil will smell too much again. What could I use on a handrail? All right, good questions. Um, I've had lots of experience with textured ceilings falling down on me when I'm painting them. <laughs> so it is critical still to use an oil primer. Now, um, Benjamin Moore's Fresh Start Oil Primer is nice and flat. Once you use that, you Paint it with lots of ventilation. Keep your windows and doors open if you're concerned about the smell. Um, but then you can top coat it with a latex paint and use a, you know, a dead flat paint like our waterborne ceiling paint. Um, but unfortunately, if you use water-based paint, it's going to crumble. Um, as far as the handrails go, if you watch the segment where I was showing how to paint furniture, it's kind of the same thing. And Benjamin Moore's waterborne alkyd is a really good solution for furniture, handrails, trim, doors, because you get the hard hardness of the alkyd, but you get the water borne for cleaning up and certainly it's less smelly. It's not no smell, but it's definitely less smelly than those old oil paints and it will not peel off if you do all the proper prep in advance. So good luck, Nick. <laughs> now Shelly has a question for you, Erin. Hi, City Line. I've been spending a lot of time during COVID trying to update my condo because it's so very necessary, but the only problem is I don't know what to do with my bedroom. I'm color, color, color everywhere and I feel like I've just colored myself out with decor and themes and my bedroom is just an empty slate that really needs some help. If you could help me, that would be great. Let's make that color rich and dark in the bedroom and go with a really gorgeous teal called Largo Teal from Benjamin Moore. It has a great jewel tone to it. I would wrap all four walls in that color and really help it envelope the space and then pick up a great bedspread that you love with a pattern or even a solid and you'll be done. Now, last but not least for Mike, we've got a viewer question that came in from Joan. She emailed this in. I want to remove the clawfoot tub and install a shower, but I'm worried about moving the toilet. It's an old house and I'm worried the pipe might crack or cause more damage. Mike, what do you think? Well, Joan, um, if you're trying to add a shower to that space, uh, one recommendation would be to add a clawfoot tub shower enclosure if it's, you know, being a little bit more budget conscious. However, if the idea is to completely remove the tub and relocate the toilet as well and re-envision the space, relocating that toilet will not be an issue when you use a professional plumber, especially if there's access underneath. It's all about bringing the right experts in to do the job. Thanks so much to all three of you for sharing your expertise.